OK, so just remember, guys, we have a definite integral from 1 to 3 of 4 dx. Remember, this is basically our example of our definite integral from our lower bound to our upper bound of our function dx. And then here's our graph. And again, what we're looking for is this area under the curve. So the first thing that I'm going to want to do is I can say f of x is equal to 4. So how am I going to draw 4? Well, here's my x-axis. Here's my f of x axis, 1, 2, 3, 4. All right, that is my function f of x, which is just 4, which is a horizontal line. However, we have endpoints here from 1 to 3. So you can see we have a nice little rectangle that we need to find the area for. Well, area in this case is going to be 2. Or let's do this. Area equals length times width. So length we could, or length we could say is four times two, which equals eight. So my definite integral is going to have a value of eight. Perfect. Anybody have any questions? 